It's a very popular book, and some people may rely on their forecast to make plans. But is there any truth to the old farmer's almanac? Rich Cornelia joins us with the answer in today's weather myths, fact, or fiction report. The old farmer's almanac sells millions of copies every year. In fact, my mom has got me one every Christmas since I was a little kid. But how much stock should you put in the weather reports in the Old Farmer's Almanac? The Old Farmer's Almanac has been making weather predictions for 225 years. It claims to have a special formula locked in a black box in New Hampshire. It's said to be able to predict the weather for the year. The weather forecast is like the deciding factor in what we pretty much do every day. Evan Shute owns Shute's Apple Farm in Penfield. He could use a book to predict the weather well in advance. It would make farming that much easier. It would make my, uh, my year happy. <laughs> but does he read the old farmer's almanac? I'm more of a person that uses like my smartphone and uses, you know, apps to track the weather, to see what the weather's happening because it changes so quickly and so often that I really don't use the farmer's almanac. That's probably not a bad strategy for shoot. The almanac has a long history, but the science behind it isn't anything special. I'd say despite claims of an 80% success rate, the almanac is more of a 50-50 proposition, more like chance. Look at last year. The old farmer's almanac predicted a cold winter, the weather service a mild one. Last year was an incredibly warm winter, so the almanac got that one wrong. But two years ago, their prediction of a cold winter played out with a brutally cold winter. The National Weather Service, on the other hand, had predicted a mild winter. The Old Farmer's Almanac for this year is predicting a warmer than normal winter. So far, so good, but there's still a lot of winter left, so we'll see how that plays out. So in the end, uh, the Old Farmer's Almanac, more of a great entertaining read than a real scientific journal. In downtown, I'm News 10 NBC meteorologist Rich Cadillac. Uh,